I'm tired of this shoe shopping business. I'm hoping this is the last pair for a couple seasons. What's going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob Pelton and if you're new here, I do a lot of backpacking stuff. A lot of the trips for backpacking, a lot of the gear for backpacking. I even throw in some bike packing in there sometimes. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that I have coming out. I've done some shopping, even more so than I have already reported. Here's a look at that. And it's new shoe day. It's new shoe day. Ow. Some of you know that I've been on a shoe quest for backpacking specifically. I've had a hard time. I've had a lot of failures and I've tested a lot of things. Now the rough part about shoe shopping, the way I am shoe shopping, a lot of the shoes I want aren't in stock anywhere where I live. So I have to order them, try them on, walk around with them and see if they suck or not. So now this is just the latest rendition, the latest chapter of what I am going through. So. A lot of you have sent me advice on what shoes sh I should try. For those of you who did that, thank you. But I decided to take a complete left turn and go against what everyone told me to do. And I went with a company by the name of Merrill. Now you do know the Merrill name. They make a lot of hiking boots, a lot of hiking shoes. They're actually a big outdoor shoe company. What they are typically not known for in the mainstream, I guess, ultralight backpacking category are lightweight running slash tra running slash hiking shoe. At least not when you're talking about ultras and hokas, things like that. I don't see anybody rocking Merrell's, especially these. Now, Merrell, they've been making some strides and doing some research. They got a whole test lab of people who are trying out their, these new you know, uh, category of shoes for them. These are called the MTL, that means Merrill Testing Labs, MQM Hiking Shoe. I saw them, the specs looked okay, I decided to order them, and they are here, and this is a first impressions video. First off, I am not a big fan of the color, but this is kind of all they had, and here she be. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, this shoe kind of sucks. It's got a 25 millimeter stack at the back, a 19 millimeter stack in the front. It does have a rock plate. It's got the Vibram, the Vibram, Vibram outsoles. Uh, so there's some stiffness to it. They're light, but the material up front, it looks like, like vinyl or, or plastic or something. I mean, can you hear it? Like it, it's not leather, it's not rubber. Uh, there is a couple of little see-through spots here, but I see no drainage for the toe box. So what happens if I'm you know, walking through a, a lake or a, a river or something, is, is that gonna drain back here? I don't see anything down here. Uh, I, I don't like the material, I'm gonna be honest with you. These are a size 10. I just hope I wear a size 10. Those are really tight. Right in the forefoot here. Ah, the toes are tight. I don't like that. I don't like them. All right, next. Okay, you know what? Let's try something else. Those shoes are returned. The good news about the Merrells is I did order them from REI and I'm able to return them to the local store, which is nice, but I'm, I'm tired of looking for shoes. These are the shoes that I've had the last time. These are the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. Great shoe, love the way it fits, love the drainage, love everything about it, except I don't know if the sole has packed out so much, but after like eight miles, my feet start to get really, really sore. Other than that, the shoe is holding up really well. So let's just go somewhere completely different. I ordered some crazy bouncy, cushy insole things. 
called V-liners. And I guess these are like ultra responsive. You can bounce an egg off them or, or whatever. They're about 30 bucks on Amazon. Really good reviews. So let's throw these in my existing shoes that are really good except for they hurt my feet. And see if these make a difference. Anti-shock. It says anti-shock. And that's the problem. My feet are being shocked. This is what they are. Obviously they're a flappy thing. So on one side it's very rubbery. It's got this, this honeycomb pattern in them. And on this side it's more of a cloth. I can blow through it so there's some natural drainage in here. I think these are like nine and a halfs or tens and these are supposed to replace the insoles in your shoes. So first I'm gonna see if they fit. And then I'm gonna walk around with them a little bit. So that's what these are. That's what these are. <sighs> this is getting a little pathetic. Going to be honest with you. Get in there. Okay. That is in there. The Z liner is in the Ultra Lone Peak Fives. Let's try these on. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell. It just feels like this is like there's no give in this anymore. Like the the soul. I mean, it's like right. I mean, not quite to that extreme, but there's just no. There's no bouncing these anymore, and I don't know if insoles are gonna. <sighs> this is way harder than it needs to be. Needless to say, I've been a little frustrated, and I'm going with one of the top suggestions that I've gotten. Now, the top suggestion was the Hoka Speed Goat Fives. I had a manufacturer defect on those, and that was enough to sour me on those shoes. Looking back, maybe I should have just exchanged them for a new pair and just and just really really gave them a shot Because everyone I've talked to about that defect It wasn't an issue that ship has sailed. I just got an order From REI right to my house and Before I open this up What shoes did I go with this time? If you guessed Topo Athletic You'd be correct I went into the local REI store to return those Merrill shoes uh, and as I was looking at their shoe selection I tried on a pair of Topo Athletics and they were very very comfortable. They are a regular shoe, they have a drop, they're not a zero drop shoe but they have a big toe box like the Ultras did. The ones that I tried on were nice but they weren't quite as thick as I wanted. They had a 25 millimeter stack in the heel and a 19 in the toe, I wanted more. So I hopped online while I was in the store and I found a pair of Topos they did not have in store, but they had online, and that's what these are. We are looking at the Topo Athletic Ultra Venture Pro. Now what's the big difference here? These are ugly shoes, my G. So here's what they are. You can see big flared toe box, they're, they're really, really light, but they got a 30, like two millim 32 millimeter stack. Yeah, 30 millimeter stack in the heel, 25 millimeter stack in the forefoot. So there is a five millimeter drop from heel to toe. These are a nine and a half because the other shoes I tried on from Topo, the nine and a half fit well. These have a rock plate, so that'll give me a little bit more protection underfoot, a little bit more foot support. Of course, it's got the Vibram outsoles. It's got a zip foam midsole. Zip foam is their proprietary foam. I'm hoping it doesn't flatten out and, and, and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I hope it doesn't pack out like the Ultras eventually did. All right, one big downside of Topo Athletic that I've been finding, their color selection sucks. 
I need to get some colors out here, bruh. I like the flare toe box. I really, really like that. Uh, crap, do I need a 10? Ow. No, I think the nine and a half will be fine. I have a big trip coming up in like two weeks. And when I say big trip, I mean like out of the country, hiking, backpacking in, another, in, in South America. And these shoes have to do it for me. What do you think? Did I make the right choice? Let me know down in the comments below. But I appreciate you following me along with this saga. I'll make a playlist of this shoe saga. So go ahead and look for that like right there. I'll post it down in the description of this video as well. Otherwise, whatever you do, you know, don't be crazy like me and look for perfect everything. Get what you can together, go outside, and enjoy this big, beautiful world. And until then, I gotta pack for this trip. All right, we'll see you. Be good. Stay out of trouble. <laughs>exchanges for a larger size okay wait before you say anything wait a second I only exchanged them for a size 10 instead of a nine and a half the nine and a halfs were just a bit too snug for me so the tens are on their way they're still the topo athletic ultra adventure pros so relax they're on their way goodbye for a second time until next time for a second time Stay out of prison for a second time. <laughs>